If you're looking for a really versatile mobile tool storage system, check out the Versus Stack from Craftsman. It's not sponsored content. I've just had it a long time and I like it. Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and this is the Craftsman Versus Stack. This is not something I acquired because I wanted to make a YouTube video about it. I bought all of this and actually a few more pieces four years ago, probably been longer than that, maybe as much as five or six years ago, but I was renovating a rental house, but also running another business. And so I needed to be able to take a full set of house remodeling supplies to a house. And I didn't really want to leave them locked up in that house when I might not be there for a couple days. So I bought the Craftsman Versa Stack. Now a lot of brands have a system kind of like this. The Milwaukee Packout system is really popular and it looks really nice. I haven't actually used it, but it's bigger boxes. But what I would say has really impressed me about this is the versatility and the number of different boxes available. So I wanna go through and show you what I've got here and keep in mind as you're looking at this, I would never stack it this high on a normal basis. All of this is setting on one bottom box. The bottom boxes have wheels on them and a, a handle that you can roll them with. This setup was meant to use on two stacks that were each about this high so that even when they're full, they're still light enough to be portable. And you can use any of the sections you want, mix and match. But let's just start at the top and pop these little tabs loose. And now we have a tool bag. It's, you know, it's a heavy built tool bag. Got carry handles here. It's got a strap there. Pretty standard stuff that you can get from different brands. Like the strapping on the side allows you to poke tools in it. The whole front here is a pocket. I've seen a lot of guys use this type of bag for like electrical carry or for a full carpenter's setup. Double sets of pockets all the way down. Got a spot here to hang a tape measure or whatever else. The inside is all lined with pockets. So this part right here is basically just a nice heavy duty bag that you could use by itself. Or if you're taking it with other tools, you clip it on the top. Now the next layer, we can open this up. So if this was just on top of your setup and you need to use stuff, you can open it up and use it. Or if you're at the job and you want to unstack and get access to everything you've got, pop the same two tabs, pull this little tray off. This one's kind of a cool addition. This is drill bits and nut drivers, paddle bits, you know, screwdriver bits, all your standard stuff. These are basically hex keys, concrete drill bits. Just a nice little set here. Now, because I like having this set with all the pieces and I don't want to dull out the drill bits, I don't use these every day here in the shop. I only use these if I'm on location with the Versa stack. Well, I had the video done. I was heading in the house and forgot to show you guys something. I had two of these and I can't find the other one. I don't know what I did with it. But if you don't have a bag on top, this is kind of meant to be a top layer. These little miniature boxes clip in right here and you use your front latch to secure those. So you can actually add a bunch of these and they have all different ones. This one is just drill bits, but if you want a kit for more bits and things like that, right here. These are, I guess you'd call them organizers. I use them, I'll hold the whole thing up for screws, bolts, nuts, any kind of hardware. Anything that you need in its own little separators. And these pop out. So let's see, we need some finish nails for my air nailer, it's right here. Roofing nails, there you go. And if you're doing something, it could be anything. I mean, you could be a cable installer and use this system. And this could be all your different connectors and, and things like that. And you could stack six of these on top of each other and roll it on one box. You know, it's very versatile for whatever you're doing. I have two of the 
organizers. This one's exactly like that one. And I would keep one of these on each stack previously. So if you're doing any kind of like, say you're a handyman that goes out on location, you can say, okay, what am I gonna need today? I'm gonna need my socket set, my electrical toolbox. I don't need the plumbing toolbox, but I need that bag and all of my bolts and screws. And you stack it into what components you need. Now this one is a tool set. So in here, they're labeled half inch drive, quarter inch drive, three eighths drive. So this is a three eighths drive socket set. Then we've got our quarter inch drive. Inside with the quarter inch drive sockets, you have a wrench set. You've also got nut drivers and, and some more of these type of attachments that you can put in a socket and use with your quarter inch drive racket. Then you've got a half inch drive, and I've lost some of the tools that went in here and picked my own variety. So we've got hex key sets here, screwdrivers, a utility knife, and a half inch drive socket set. So when we get down to here, this is the size of the units that I generally took. The reason I don't have my normal setup is I let my dad borrow the bottom box. We were using it for testing out a homemade like solar battery pack and we use the bottom box for that now he's actually bringing that back to me tomorrow so i can sort this back into two pack out systems trademark milwaukee i didn't do that on purpose two versus stack systems and when i have two of them and make two stacks each stack is about like this it's much more manageable and if you've got tools in here it's not too heavy so I'll show you what the base of it looks like. The base has a collapsible handle. You push there, and that allows you to open everything but the bottom. And then you just push that and pull up, tip it back and roll. The last three layers are what they call the VersaStack Tower. It's just three toolboxes. Each one's just an open toolbox with a tray, pretty standard. Now, if you're doing one specific job, you know, you don't have to take this whole stack with you. You can take the carry bag, or you can take just this toolbox. This is something that I say all the time, because people will probably comment and say that this system is too expensive. But the point of a product like this is it is too expensive to have for no reason. But if you take tools out on projects then this is super handy like i like this toolbox but i can't just pick it up and put it in my truck it's not mobile so when you're taking tools to a job you need a way to make them portable as i said earlier i'm not trying to convince anyone to buy this i could care less i'm not trying to convince anyone that this is better than the Milwaukee system or a system that any other brand has. Because how would I know? This is the only system I've used. But I've used it a lot. I've had it for quite a few years and I have no complaints. There's no broken latches or any kind of issues whatsoever. It all clicks together, it works. And I think it's pretty darn handy. I'll put links in the description of this video to where you can buy these same products on Amazon. And I've got a lot of work to do cleaning and organizing the shop and bringing this system from the garage up here is gonna make that easier. Anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.